Hello everyone, welcome to Nietzsche channel. Yes, a lot of people asking me to make a tutorial in English. And uh, well, now I bring another tutorial in Cinema 4D in English version. So this tutorial will show you guys how to make this kind of motion in Cinema 4D or 21. Because a lot of fun to discover in Cinema 4D or 21. And please know that we will also have another tutorial in Khmer language that is the Cambodia language but we will try to make a lot of English video also so uh, let's jump back to our tutorial and this is the project that I made before I make it in Cinema 4D or 21 because in Cinema 4D or 21 we will have a lot of fun to play around with its troop generate and also we have a lot of capacity to control about the mole graph like uh, fear okay now let's jump back to new project and I already create new project and before in you have to bring out all your logo into cinema for the your logo part and you have to make sure that each part is spread from each other so like here if I solo I click in this one will you port solo single you will see that uh, like left eyebrow right eyebrow man forehead like I just rename it yeah like eye right eye so I spread all the part in my logo to different part because it makes us easy to uh, when we make an animation about this logo and all this part is in the same position of position Z if we uh, to call it in full view and in top camera you will see it is perfectly in the same spot of Z position is zero okay yes and after that you have to make sure that in your edit render setting uh, you are uh, in here I use a uh, full HD and then you also if you press control control D in project setting you have to make sure that this frame rate and ah, sorry and this frame rate is the same okay and if you want to see the uh, safe area line you can press save V and you go to view and you can check title safe or action safe okay to view this part and we also can can change the color and opacity of it so this is not safe the black one you can change it to like something red and inside the red line is the safe area okay it's too much So now we will group it. You we press save and click and group it with shortcut key L G. Okay. And we will put it in the is group generator. So we press denial again, press L and click on the is group. And nothing happened yet. We need to go to the is group like uh, object. And we need to check on heretical. Okay. Now we got the is true. And if we preview it, we don't see our any like we don't we if we see it just a one shape because it in the same position and in the same instruction. So we need to separate it to a different extrude so we can click on the extrude and we click on this one make it apple or with the shortcut C so press C okay now is make it edit apple and if we check it okay now we have different extrusion 
with our part and okay let's bring it out yes delete it because it's not necessary anymore so we need to adjust some setting in each instruction like this is in mainframe if we solo it okay this part and this one if we solo this one okay you will see it have different part of each element okay let's turn back to we use solo off and this mainframe if you go in cinema 40 or 21 if you go to cap you will see that we have a lot of update and this is really fun to play around with like here like the shape and we have also beware shape we have like curve and you can play around with this setting because it will make your model is look much more like chassis hard or really interesting shape that you keep playing around and if we click on the lot preset you can see that we have much of preset from cinema 4d like if we click for step okay we got something like this okay look interesting and this is cannot make in cinema 4d in the previous version like all 20 or all 19 because it just update in all 21 so in this mainframe i will go with something like round okay but i use size only 0.58 and i just need segment a little segment just simple be well okay just only three okay and it's still nothing happened yet but if we go to our border this one okay this part we can change i can use the cinema 4d preset like you can play around with different preset but here i use um single step okay now we got some dimension 3d dim dimension in our logo here okay looks nice and sharp and this border i can okay i, I don't change anything just uh, put it as the same preset and i go to the right side if we solo it this one okay this this set okay turn back i can just keep it round and but i change like size for 0.5 and segment 3 but and we don't see any 3d dimension yet but uh, we can go to the for view and we can push it up a little bit like in this like that okay and here in the same okay so this is like minus 20 minus 20 centimeters this one also minus 20 yes now we got some dimension okay and this one okay we and we also can move it up a little bit
this big right and left in top view you can also move it up Okay, let's move all the uh, the element plus it up a little bit. Okay, now we got some three D dimension of our logo, and we still can go to our extrusion and change some setting in cap like in this fur we can go to like curve and side two centimeter or we can just press it the thumb shift okay and side only two centimeters. Okay, it will look really nice and sharp looking like that. This fur, okay. And this this one left small big. This one we use um, reset for step. This the right side also the same. We can just reset small step. And this big that one we not use the preset. This one okay. We use like something preset cuff. And we can use really high side to make it look like chisel hard in the middle like that. Maybe around 1641. And you can play around with the spline here. Like something like that. You can see how it looks. It will become like big up bird. Something like that. Okay. Just play around a little bit with this plan and you will got something look interesting. And we can increase the segment to make it look smooth. Like 15 segment. And yeah. <laughs> It look different so we need to adjust the cuff again shape that oh Let's change shape that to 100 okay okay now it's become like that if we preview it just play around a little bit with the We also can add more point if you press control and click you got some different point that you can control okay look nice really sharp like the big of bird yeah and now we go to eye our eye and this one we also use curve and with our side 2.9 and this one we 
also play around with our spline again. So here I use something like I create in this plan control control and you can play around with it. Play around with the spline to make the shape look interesting like as what you like. See how when I change the spline position for one is also affecting our modeling. So you have to play around with it. You don't you don't have to make exactly the same as what I do. Just play around with it to get the shape that you think is satisfied for you. Okay, and in the left eye, we also, we need to have the same, exactly the same as the right eye. So we can sell the preset like this right eye. We can sell this preset, and we can name it like this uh, eye eagle, for example. You can sell the preset and click OK, and when we go to our left eye. We can load preset, load preset, and this is our preset that we already saved at that moment. Okay, we click and then yes, it's applied automat automatically the same as before. Yeah, and this man forehead, you can use with curve and size six centimeter. Or 5.99 and get high segment like 15 segment to make it much more smooth and control and play around with the spline again And this right eyebrow, okay, this one, just play it with round and change 1.5. Okay, and segment only two segment. And yes, this one also the same. Okay, now I think that that's enough for our modeling with some easy setup with its troop. Okay, now we got something like this for our logo. So now it's the time to make it to make animation of this logo. So before I animate this logo, so I need to make it have different position of the main frame and you will know how like in this main frame the position of coordinate the axis coordinator is Z, but I don't want like that. I need to change it to like minus 25. Apply. Just enable it, okay? Enable it and change coordinator axis. You will know at you will know later why I need to do like that. And this order.
this order we keep it the same zero this right side you have to think which part of element you want when you have animation like for example like here in our animation we have something like this main logo main frame is like in step like they fly not all together they fly like have in front of each other like this one is not in the same position so in order to have it like that we need to change we need to change exit coordinator of position z okay and this right side and about it and i change it to minus 30 apply so the coordination of it will not in the same position anymore but make sure that you check enable assist this one also minus 30 and apply and this main part okay just keep it the same and this left small big I change it to minus 35 apply this is also the same minus 35 apply and this main big I change it to minus 30 apply and I change it to minus 25 apply this is also the same minus 25 apply this forehead is minus 20 apply and I roll let's put it to minus 30 apply minus 30 apply okay and then we enable it okay and then select all the instruction and go to something like more graph and fracture okay and put it all in the fracture or oh, this border okay i think i can choose this should be before the main frame it should be behind everything so it should be let's enable axis center again and it should be zero centimeter and this ball and this border should be minus 20 centimeter and apply okay and then we uncheck it so this one is axis center zero centimeter this one minus 20 okay this one and this i will create just simple simple color to make for you to make look much easier for looking it just draft color just draft color okay okay something like that this is not real color that we will use but i just put it to make you easier for looking so this main frame it should be behind everything and this border okay and if you take a look at the position coordinator you will see it's in different position it's not in the same position anymore okay and before you change axis center of each extrusion you have to make sure which part that when you have when you animate like in this in this one if we take a look at this you can see that this main frame is behind everything like that okay it's behind everything and then we have our border we have our forehead like something like that 
so you have to make sure which element that you want to like uh, before and after and like first second and after like that okay you have to think first before you change before you change the position of assist center okay i hope that you got something what i mean and after you change it okay now it's time to animate this logo so we go to fracture and then we go to more graph a filter and plan okay and in here in plan in parameter we check position yeah but we not animate in position y let's change it to zero and we animate in position z so i know my position is 10 and 50 centimeters and I got I want also animate rotation I rotate in rotation B 360 degree okay and we go to plan we go to fall off in here we have another option of fear and now let's choose linear fear and we got something like that okay this animate something like but it's not in order like what we want you can see that this is not like what we want it should be this border is behind everything yeah this border this frame main frame like yellow color it should be behind everything but it's now it's not in but now it's not in like the order of animation is not like what we want so we need to change it by go to the linear fear and we go to fear yes just keep it like land but direction we need to change it from x plus to minus z okay okay now we got something like what we want our main frame is behind everything so let's increase the length to 100 and 36 okay and we go to remapping let's change something like contour mode here from none to curve yes and you can see if i play around with this line okay my my motion also also change yes so i can play around with the fear here and i go to remapping again and i adjust this line to be something like you can play around with this as I already mentioned play around with the sitting and you will see how much it look how much nice look play around with the scale okay okay to make it a little bit like that okay just you can see how much is we can control if we just scale the fear sorry in here we scale the land we scale the land of the fear is also a fit with our motion so we can get something like this okay we have enough enough space for zoom in like that okay and after we got this kind what we gonna do yes right we gonna 
we gonna keyframe in position C of linear fear. So we click on linear fear and we hit keyframe and go to like 85 frame. We can animate it, move it up. Okay, something like that, and we put a keyframe. So now we got something like this. Okay, and we also can put a delay like here. Okay, and we can use okay, blend and 65 degree, 65 percent. And now we got something like this. Okay, now after we got this kind of animation, we can animate the camera. If you follow my channel, you will see that I like to use a, a, a camera mob. Okay, and it's the same in this tutorial, I also use camera mob. So, this is camera one. And we want to take a look where the scene that we want. Something like that. And I can rotate it a little bit like minus 30 you can find the angle that you like okay find the angle that you like this is camera one and then like duplicate camera and this one camera two you can zoom it out a little bit something like that duplicate again in camera 3 I can go to frame how it animate frame 30 60 yeah to play around with like this and camera 3 just take a look the final camera is I don't want to animate it anymore to rotate it sorry something like that Don't stress, don't stress too much about how the camera angle will look like because after we animate we still can change it after that okay All right. something like that so let's animate the camera select it and create camera camera mode and enable camera mode and if we change the blending you can see something like that now let's go about gram 0 100 and go to 15 frame go to like 75 percent okay keyframe and 65 let's go to around 12 percent and 120 is zero 
Now let's check our motion of our camera mode. Not bad at all. Okay. It's not look exactly the same as our advert but because as I mentioned we can't make the same animation even the previous advert is the one that I myself I myself created but we still can't make the same exactly the same 100 percent the same as before it's not bad at all and as you can play around some setting in camera one or camera two if you think it's not smooth enough you can change some setting in here and it will affect in camera mode okay like so in this uh, artwork I already put it put the material put the camera mode I also give you this project cinema 4d you can take a look how I prepare the camera mob in this tutorial and also you can got out my material and how I set up the lighting and if you take a look we have some a, a little bit wiggle and this wiggle a little bit shaking and this checking we make it in after effect I will show you my project that I make it okay so you can see in my project okay this is my pre-render alpha that i come already compose it in after effect if we take a look at on it main thing it is just simple with alpha background okay and i just change a little bit sitting with the multi pass that i render from cinema 4d like uh, I pre-compose re reflect okay just add some adjustment on it and duplicate it if you follow my tutorial you will need that my uh, style of compositing is the same and I put a little bit uh, adjustment layer adjustment of color correction of curve okay to make it look a little bit blue style to make it a, a little bit blue style okay and then I pre-render it as a alpha video to make it more easily render and I put this video and for just and if you see my final just I just uh, make the background with uh, my fabric my fabric plug-in uh, particular this particular and I use some like if I solo it you can see it's a little bit smoke that I use some uh, if we go to designer you can see that there is a lot of preset that you can play around with I remember I may use this kind of um, yeah maybe something like smoky fire burst or uh, let's check it which which texture that i use here i use the texture from this particular this called particular sprite master this this kind of luma luma okay and this is have already have its own animation like that okay I just pre-compose it and make it a little bit longer the time a little bit longer and if I solo the texture here just change it to box and change some sitting here and I choose I change I change the particle type to texture and polygon 
Okay, and my teachers, I use this particular spread, spread. Okay, and this this texture you can find in its preset. Yes, yeah, yes, in here, like in some some preset plugin in Explosive. Okay, you go to Explosive and you can have this kind of plasma cloud or plasma cloud explore okay i use some this kind of reset and change a little bit sitting in here okay just i just freeze it if you see my keyframe so if you're not familiar if particular please make sure that you check it how to use it okay or you can use your own background okay your own style background and if you take a look on how it, it, it how it's shaking I just use simple camera shake here I use just simple with slider control with trend with a uh, transform and then I uh, put it and then I put expression in position and then I pair in it with the slider control you can check YouTube just check some like how to make shaking camera in after effect you will see how to make this kind of effect okay okay so thank you very much for watching this session if you're new here and you're not subscribed yet please make sure that you subscribe my channel and hit the share button or like button if you think my video is useful for you guys thanks you very much